Did you know that the average American spends about $92 a month on coffee? And according to an article in 2015, purchased 167 bottles of water per year, costing an average of $266. What if there was a product out there that can make your hot drinks last longer and your cold drinks stay colder longer? Well, today we're gonna to talk about thermoses and tumblers. And we're gonna test that theory. This is one of my favorite coffee tumblers. I use it mainly for work. And we're gonna test my little theory, okay? So I said the hot drinks last longer. We're at 169 degrees right now, 168, sorry. Coffee cup, one of my favorite coffee cups when I'm here at the house. We are at 165 degrees, all right? So we're gonna test our theory. Also, we're gonna test this theory on water bottles. So thermos, plain old water bottle, just ice and water, both of them. <clears throat> so like most modern things, I wanna know where my money's going to. I wanna know when I purchase something, how long I'm gonna get an investment, a return in it. Am I only gonna buy it once and then have to throw it away? Do I get to buy it and use it multiple times? Well, we're going to talk about the thermos and tumblers in that fashion. <clears throat> so the thermos invented in 1892 by Sir James Dewar, who was an Oxford scientist. He was actually uh, made this by accident. He was looking for a way to store liquid nitrogen, which has a freezing temperature of negative 294.4 degrees Fahrenheit. He had a contest to name the thermos. He used to call it the double vacuum. Uh, a Munich resident submitted a name, uh, Thermos, which is thermi in Greek, meaning hot. So the name stuck. In 1907, uh, Mr. James Duar sold off the trademark to Thermos to three different companies located in the United States, Canada, and in England. Although the three different companies worked independently, they all marketed the Thermos brand together to make it what it is today. The Thermos brand has been all over the world and was on great many expeditions, especially in the 1900s, in the early 1900s. It went to the South Pole, it's been to the North Pole, it's been to Africa, and even the Wright brothers took it up on a flight. <clears throat> the tumbler, invented in 1946 in Detroit, Michigan by two engineers, a Mr. Frank Cotter and G. Howlett Davis. Um, they came up with the name Tervis by taking the last initials of their name and just combining it. <clears throat> it is a permanently sealed double wall vacuum container. They are made and purchased, or they are made and manufactured in Florida. Uh, Mr. Hollett and Mr. Davis, or Mr. Cotter and Mr. Davis uh, had a genius marketing idea. They would sell these things door to door. They would fill up the cup with ice and water sell it door to door and the Florida residents just were amazed that it was able to keep a dream nice and cold. You know how it is in Florida. It's just like here in South Texas, super hot humidity all the time. That was just a great idea for them. They, Tervis has uh, partnered with uh, NCAA, MLB and the NFL to get your own personalized uh, team tumblers. <clears throat> they make uh, wine cups, water bottles, sippy cups, um, you name it, they probably have it. So tumblers and thermoses come in all shapes and sizes, right? <clears throat> Big sizes, small sizes. They come with uh, different accessories, different lids for, to fit different lifestyles. They come in different colors, different styles, different accessories. Uh, the big names that you guys have probably heard about is Arctic, Yeti, uh, Bubba and Tervis. Those are just some of the names out there. They can uh, range anywhere from 10 to $40. Now you might be thinking, you know what, Joe, that's a lot of money for just a cup. And I agree with you. I have a family of five. Like I mentioned earlier, I want to know where my money's going. I want to know that if I purchase something, am I going to be able to use it one time, multiple times? Is it going to have multiple uses? Well, the tumbler and the thermos fit the mold perfectly. <clears throat> Say you are a coffee drinker like myself, a nice thermos, hold on to your cup of coffee. You're not a coffee drinker, a tea drinker, perfect for you. Say you're not a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. You know, you like to go to the gym, you like to go outdoors, you like to spend time on the road traveling. A nice thermos for you, 
Uh, this was one of the first ones we had purchased by Bubba. Uh, it went with my family and I to uh, Disney in 2018. It's got a lot of wear and tear, but this thing still holds nice cold water, still works perfectly to this day. So you're probably wondering, what is a thermos? What is a tumbler? Well, basically what it is is hard plastic and then there's air sandwich in between. So hard plastic, air in between, that keeps hot drinks hot, cold drinks cold. They're either made of hard plastic design or stainless steel design, but it has the same concept. <clears throat> you can find these about anywhere, guys. You don't feel like going out, Amazon, eBay. If you're already out and about, Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Academy, you name it, they probably have one. There are, I mentioned the big names earlier, and I mentioned the price range earlier. So those $40 cups, you're probably paying for the name. Um, there are many, many different brands out there. Um, very affordable, probably around the $10 range. Um, it's a lot better if you go to, so say you're going to McDonald's, Starbucks, Circle K, you know, whatever, etc. You're paying anywhere from two to $5 for a cup of coffee. You purchase this tumbler here for $10, and you're gonna have multiple, multiple uses out of them. One thing I love about this is you can hand wash this, you go buy a cup of coffee, you finish your cup, hand wash it, it's ready for the next use. If you go to Starbucks, if you go to McDonald's, if you go to anywhere of those places I mentioned, you get that coffee cup, what are you gonna do? You're probably gonna just throw it away. So you're paying two to five dollars for a single cup of coffee, one time use only. You can take a cup like this, Circle K, Stripes, etc. get it filled up for less than a dollar. I have personally used this, this one and this one. This one I filled up with ice and drink at a Circle K and it cost me 87 cents. And this is 48 ounces, it's nice cold, you know, we're taking the family on a road trip or we're going to the beach or just out and about, you know, awesome, awesome design. <clears throat> They are great for gifts. We have the holiday season coming up. Our cold weather's here. So you're not a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, um, hot chocolate, right? If you're not into any of those things and uh, you're a gym nut, nice cold water bottle. Another thing that's good about these is spill proof. You're on about in your work bag, in your gym bag, you know, you're at home. It's not gonna spill guys. There's even a little water in this one. Not gonna spill. <clears throat> um, so say you're not into hot drinks or cold drinks. Well, maybe you're into adult drinks. Well, they got a tumbler for you too. So we have a recent trend in society where we're getting away from uh, disposable cups, plastics, etc. So what? more of a great reason to be productive and proactive in buying a tumbler, spending a little bit of money on this thing, but it's gonna last you years to come. So that's a great return on your investment. You're buying more right now, but it's gonna last you a lot longer. If I were to tell you Starbucks sells you a cup like this and they charge you $10 a cup every single time, you're not gonna wanna buy Starbucks anymore. You'd probably wanna buy a tumbler for 20 bucks make it last longer, use it more times, and use it for more than one thing. So <clears throat> those are all the good things about tumblers and thermoses. I'm gonna mention some of the bad things because they're not perfect, <clears throat> and these bad things are my personal experiences. So one thing, they are not, they are made of stainless steel, so if you do drop them, you will get a dent in them. These are all droppings of, uh, I guess, my own fault um, either in a hurry, in a rush, kids. They are not kid proof. Uh, this is my little girl's tumbler or thermos that she uses multiple times for school. Um, they are used mainly in hand washing. They, they recommend hand washing in these, so no dishwasher. This is a result of like dropping dishwasher, just wear and tear. You can see here, this is a little bit of dishwasher and dropping. That, that paint's coming off of it. It still works, still, you know, still does its job. It's just, you know, a little bit of a discoloration there. Um, 
like I mentioned earlier, the sweat design. So stainless steel does not sweat through. You can take this in your work bag, gym bag, wherever. Uh, regular water bottles. This is just a plastic water bottle Contigo. It's got about 16 ounces of water. Um, you can tell it's sweating through. So that's what's gonna go through your gym bag, through your work bag. Um, most of these thermoses and tumblers do um, fit in coffee cups or uh, cup holders, I'm sorry. So if you're out and about in the road and you know, you need a nice drink of coffee, that tumbler is gonna fit. There are some obviously that do not fit in cup holders, but they do offer spill proof lids. So you should be okay. Um, I hope that you guys are considering uh, tumblers. I hope I was able to persuade you into getting a tumbler. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna buy one. If you do have one already, you guys already know what's up. Uh, if you don't have one and you're on the fence about getting one, I would recommend getting one. They're inexpensive. You can make them to uh, whatever design you want. You can personalize them to whatever style you want. And we're gonna test our little theory about the cups, right? So we're gonna see which ones last longer. So we're about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds into the speech. So we're gonna test the uh, tumbler. So we're still holding super hot, 146 degrees. And on the coffee cup, let's see. We're at 133 degrees. So you can see the coffee cup has lost some of its uh, hotness. Uh, the coffee cup in the tumbler stayed hotter longer. And that's one of the things I love about them, guys. I guarantee you guys will love, about, uh, love this too. Uh, thank you very much for letting me talk to you guys, and we'll see you later.